Welcome to your strategic partner podcast, where we give entrepreneurs the secrets, strategies, and processes to increase brand equity and max out revenue. Hey, 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 everybody, Ali Madawi here, your strategic partner, and we are back with a brand new episode, episode number five, where today we are covering how to repurpose your content without missing out a beat. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel overwhelmed when it comes to content creation? Do you feel like you just cannot keep up as today we have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, and so many other platforms that requires you to be present in, in order to be considered a content creator? Well, you're not the only one, my friend. Allow me to share with you how I personally have my content existing everywhere without overwhelming my life, my business day, and keeping everything under control. See, for example, as I'm recording this very same podcast episode right now, my book is being written. Crazy, right? See, what I mean is I'm speaking into a microphone and at the same time, I'm transcribing a chapter of my new book. You may think, Ninja Moves Ali. Well, I simply failed more than you. And I remember when I used to spend hours creating videos and graphics to get zero traction and totally burn out. I recall not doing any income producing activities and spend most of my day playing tech support with my own videos and imagery to fit perfectly in my social media assets. Plus, create again and again for different platforms, all while making little to no income. Can you relate? But here's the thing. I've decided after a while to work with mentors leaders and learn from individuals who have inspired me to become who I am today. Individuals like John and Nadia Melton, Bob Heilig, who have made a direct impact on my career and on my future, such as learning how to repurpose and create content while maintaining a healthy lifestyle was something that I desperately needed. So what if I tell you that I spent about four hours on a Sunday to create everything that you see every single day. Crazy, right? See, I've grabbed your attention by now. Let me share with you all the tricks that content creators charge thousands of dollars for. Why? Well, I like to hook my people up. But because it made my marriage, my life, and my business better. First things first. Understand that being a content creator does not mean automatic influence. Sometimes you have to work hard for a very long time to earn your stripes in the influencer game. But if you never start, you will never arrive. Go ahead. You can go ahead and post that. I'll wait. Mm -mm. You don't have to tag me on that post. You can do it. It's all yours. Now, that being said, everything that I'm about to share with you right now is applicable to everyone's business. However, results will vary, not may. They will vary based on your efforts because not everybody has my work ethic, my focus, and my relentless no-quit attitude. Now, let's get started. Just a quick reminder. Make sure that you have had the opportunity to listen to the previous podcast, episode number four, where I share with you how to make six figures leveraging a Facebook group. You need to do so in order to have a foundation of what I'm about to educate you on. Let's start by talking about doing a daily Facebook Live. Uh-oh, I got your attention again. See, some of you are a little terrified right now. Don't worry. It's you talking to a phone. It's not like you're standing in front of 5,000 people. Doing a Facebook Live every day at the same exact time, at least Monday through Friday. This will allow you to create not only a brand equity, but brand loyalty. This will allow your network or audience to have a new habit created with you every single day. The reason this needs to be consistent at the time that you're doing it all day every day is the same reason your favorite tv show comes on on the same channel on the same day at the same time 
as human beings, we are habitual beings. That is why it's absolutely important to maintain your time slot consistently. By the way, if you struggle with Facebook Lives, well, we have a full module on our Yup Clips platform, 100% dedicated to everything Facebook, including Facebook Anatomy, Facebook Analytics, and everything you need to know about Facebook Live. I will include a link on the description to give you access to our tour site, just in case you would want to learn more about Yup Clips. Once you're done with your live, save it on your device or download it on your computer. You may be wondering, why would I want to do that? Well, simply because that one piece of content is about to be repurposed everywhere. Let me teach. That video now can be edited with captions, logo, and in a smaller increments of five, 10 or 15 minutes. And here's the thing. You now can repurpose that video on IGTV, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and even take the best one minute clip from it and post it on Instagram as a one minute post and sharing it on your stories for 15 second increments. Now notice how you can take one daily piece of content and have it shared everywhere in an organic fashion. Let's take it a step further. Take that very same video and upload it on a podcast platform or an audio platform like SoundCloud, for example. And now you have a new episode of a podcast from the same Facebook Live that you've done. And if I may, allow me to blow your mind even more. Let's take it one little tiny step further. Send that very same video and or audio at this point to rev.com. That's R-E-V.com. I don't represent rev.com, by the way. It's just a great tool. It costs about one minute per minute. And now you have a grammatically accurate transcribed version of your Facebook Live that you now can send to your email list. Ninja moves. Now, I know what you're thinking. Some of you may still be terrified with the idea of the one Facebook Live a day, and you're still stuck there. I, I get it, I was there too. You will never be an influencer if you do not get over that hump. So do what you need to do, ASAP, to get over that hump. Others may be comfortable with doing Facebook Lives, but you're a little bit worried. You're wondering, where do I get all of my content from, Ali? I don't know what to talk about. Will I run out of things to talk about? Well, let me educate you on one thing that I know about you that you may have forgotten about yourself. You are a note taker. You are a student of entrepreneurship, and your book is worth a lot of money. See, Open that treasure vault right now. Go ahead. See how many scribbles of notes you've taken? How many aha moments and golden nuggets you've written down? Allow the world to hear your greatness, your point of view, your vantage point. Go ahead. Share all of it. All of that you have educated yourself on. The good thing about being a content creator is that you have full permission to use everything that you have learned from every book, every seminar, webinar, audiobook, and educate your peers, your network, and your audience. The truth of the matter is your audience loves it when you do your homework and give out the cheat sheets. That's essentially what we do. So be the cool kid in high school again and give away all of your cheat sheets to every student on the virtual high school called Facebook. All day, every day. And your peers will come back for more. And that's what an influencer and a content creator does. Now, let me work with you on a different way to create content for posts and stories. What if I show you how to create enough content for 30 days in a couple of hours? You will need a couple of applications such as Canva or InShot. I'll make sure that I include the description with the right spelling. And you will also need someone to assist you with a smartphone 
preferably with a 4K Retina lens. If you have a phone from 2019 and uh, younger, you probably have that. For the sake of simple math, let's just say we want to create enough content for 28 days. Schedule an hour with your best friend, business partner, heck, your mom or even dad. Ask them to take a few pictures to be exact and 28 days just to make it easy so we can simplify the math here. So 28 pictures and we're going to separate these 28 pictures by four categories. The first seven pictures will be in a space where you are showing a personal side of you. The next seven use a different shirt and a prop like a computer, a book or your cell phone on a different side of the house that looks completely different. The next seven images, let's take them outside the house, walking, smiling, jumping, showing the fun side of you. And the last seven, let's go to a coffee shop, maybe one that you really like, and let's show the business side of you. Make sure that all four categories have different props, different shirts, different hairstyle for you ladies, heck, or gentlemen for that matter. Now you have 28 different images for four weeks. Let's say it took you about one hour to take all of these pictures. Now let's spend another hour, assuming you're doing this on your own using Canva or InShot. It's an application that allows you to use different templates, different frames, and even filters and animations. As you are creating all of these images, store them on your phone. Now we know for a fact that you have, at the very least, enough content for 28 days or 4 weeks. Download an application called Later. Later allows you to pre-schedule content that will be posted on your behalf on Instagram, Facebook, and different social media platforms. That way, you do not have to interfere with your income-producing activities. And yes, you can pre-schedule the copy, the hashtags, and you can pre-schedule your posts without having to touch your phone and the magic is done on your behalf. Here are some ninja bonuses for you as we are finishing this episode. Make sure that you are always creating a call to action in your posts to engage your audience. Make sure that you are incentivizing your viewers or audience members to share and tag other individuals. Incentives such as a complimentary coaching session, a gift card, or even a vacation. See, that's what I do, by the way. I personally encourage everyone, for example, you who's listening to this right now, go ahead and share a short story tagging me, sharing a little piece of this podcast, and I'll hook you up with one of the previous mentioned gifts. Yes, including the vacation. I'll take care of the stay, you take care of your taxes. Now make sure you visit us at winwithali.com and check out all the amazing content that we are creating in all of our social media assets. In our YouTube page alone, we have over 300 videos in three different languages and we continue to add more value. We have a vlog on Facebook, The M.E. Show, is going strong and we have an audiobook coming out very, very soon called The Lion Network Marketer. Many of you have blessed us with purchasing the book in seven different countries, making us an Amazon bestseller, but this is going to be an audiobook special, a lot of extended sides of the book. I will be literally talking to you in between chapters, coming very, very soon. Plus, a whole lot of challenges that we are launching. So if you are an entrepreneur, make yourself known. Hit us up. Send me an email. Hit me up on a DM. Let me know how I can add more value to what you are doing. And all of our direct links are in the descriptions. Otherwise, it has been episode number five of your Strategic Partner Podcast, and I hope that we added a little bit more value and made your life a little bit easier and better as a content creator. Until next time, next episode, we will cover how to sustain business growth and keep duplication strong. Till then, so long, everybody.